Well, as we find our way back to education, we're now getting guidance from the state. I know a lot of Arizona families have been waiting for this one. So the suggestions are meant, of course, to help districts and parents make the best choices when it's time to go back to school this fall. So here's what we know so far. State Superintendent Kathy Hoffman says they took input from public health experts as well as education leaders to develop a roadmap for reopening schools. That's what they're calling this. The document, nearly 40 pages. The state says districts should come up with plans for four different scenarios. All students physically learning at school, all students at home, distance learning, a combination of the two, or intermittent distance learning. That's in case there is an emergency closure. The document really refers a lot to the CDC's guidance, which they have already announced. One of the suggestions calls for physical distancing by creating small groups and limiting mixing between groups, so no changing classes. This could mean things also like barriers in the classroom, assigned seating on school buses, creating one-way routes in hallways, staggered drop-off and pick-up times for students, no shared school supplies and equipment, closing or staggering use of shared spaces like play playgrounds or the library. Now, for staff or students who are considered high risk, recommendations are getting personal protection equipment, modified job responsibilities for staff, and offering virtual learning to reduce the risk for students. Some parents and teachers eager to get kids back to school saying students need the normalcy, but they also want to know how their kids will be kept safe. I really think that the classes have to be smaller. I think I would start off with st staggered schedules, um, you know, having a morning group and an afternoon group, possibly, I don't, depending on the school size, um, I don't know how you limit changing classes in a middle and high school. This is uncharted territory right now. So we are learning as we go and we're doing the best we can. And right now, because I don't know how the school year is going to look, I don't know what my classroom is going to look like. So I just kind of have to wait and see. Using the roadmap, it'll be up to each district to decide what works best for their students and their teachers. Now, one of the other things suggested may be taking the temperature of the students, as well as wearing face coverings when and where appropriate. 